Welcome to one of five mini lectures for final year civil engineering students on the topic of geosynthetics. We aim to assist students in civil engineering and geotechnical engineers in understanding more about geosynthetics, which have emerged as a common solution in civil engineering projects over the past 50 years. With a basic understanding of geosynthetics, engineers are better placed to understand the applications, functions, design considerations and the various geosynthetic product categories. This program was funded by the International Fibre Centre and developed by the Monash Geomechanics Group at Monash University in conjunction with the Technical Textiles and Non-Wovens Association. The program consists of seven mini-lectures over three years of the engineering course, from second to fourth year. It moves from an introductory discussion through an intermediate stage in third year, before focusing during fourth year on some common functions and applications. This unit is aimed at final year civil engineering students. In this unit, we look at the application of geosynthetic products to solve some common erosion control challenges. Erosion is when soil particles are removed from the land surface by wind, water or gravity. Erosion occurs naturally at slow rates. However, as land is disturbed, the rate of erosion increases. In this mini-lecture, we will be looking at the following sections. The cause of erosion, revegetation and protection of shallow slopes, steeper slopes and low-velocity flows, channels and high-velocity flows, coastal erosion. First, let's look at the causes of erosion. Erosion is a natural occurrence. It takes place when the soil is not strong enough to resist wind and water. Many engineering works disturb the natural environment, reducing the soil's resistance to erosion. As engineers, we must mitigate against these effects. Erosion can take many forms. The most visible is the scarring of the Earth's surface caused by water flow and floods. Infrastructure is vulnerable to erosion. As is the natural landscape and private land holdings. Engineers need to design infrastructure for durability. Erosion can have a greater impact than one first considers. Engineers can protect against erosion by controlling the movement of water around infrastructure and by promoting vegetation. In modern applications, geosynthetic products are available to help the engineer in this task. In this unit, we discuss biodegradable engineering products as well as geosynthetics. In all civil applications, engineers need to address erosion to some degree. Key considerations are Project requirements and constraints Environmental imperatives, regulatory requirements, space constraints. The engineer determines the most appropriate solution in response to the energy level to be withstood. By far the greatest concern is the energy from water flows. The lowest energy and most common application is revegetation and shallow slope protection. The most natural form of erosion control is vegetation. Root systems hold the soil together. Shallow slopes are considered low energy applications. 
The simplest way to control erosion is to promote vegetation. Geosynthetic engineering products are often used, particularly when the vegetation is establishing. Placing a biodegradable cover on a slope will help minimise the loss of topsoil from water running down. Biodegradable covers also promote the growth of vegetation. They can create a more conducive microclimate beneath the cover. Juvenile plants can be sown through the biodegradable textile. Natural fibres are used to manufacture the covers. Some of these fibres lend themselves to use as a weed suppressant. It is important to peg the cover down and achieve good contact with the soil. Such systems can be used for low energy water channels. The desired result is for vegetation to establish